Good morning, children. Let's finish this chapter with a re quick revision of the chapter. See, we have already done half of the chapter, or almost we have finished the chapter. Okay. Now, with this video, I'll be finishing the chapter so that tomorrow in the uh, in the next life class we will be starting with a new chapter. Okay. So, Baswas Farm. We were doing Baswas Farm. Okay. Uh, uh, and I have explained you who was Baswas. Let let us just go. through all the th series which we have started with okay now baswa we have to study or baswa lived in karnataka okay now this is karnataka you can see on the map of india karnataka a state so he lived there in belwanika village in karnataka okay so this is a story about uh, uh, baswa who lived in belwanika village in karnataka okay now he was uh, he lived there and he was a farmer okay and and uh, like i have explained you there are two types of cro crops that is kharif crop and rabi crops so this was the time of kharif crop so he wanted to uh, because it was july month so he wanted to sow the seeds for kharif crop okay so he was before sowing the seeds he was preparing the field to sow the uh, crop uh, and which crop he was growing here was onion crop okay now th there were so many things the first and foremost thing which a farmer does in the field is digging the soil okay dig the soil the now you can see here mm, uh, very clearly this is kunti okay and with this uh, this kunti uh, they actually dig the soil okay which is used for digging the soil and why do they dig the soil to loosen the soil and to make it soft and i have told you that this also that in uh, nowadays they add fertilizers to make the soil fertile or something like that but in olden times they used to put earthworms so earthworm used to make the soil fertile once the soil was loosened and then they used to introduce these uh, earthworms in the soil so that it became fertile and uh, and it was prepared and it was ready for the for sowing of the seeds okay now this year uh, uh again same year this year also his father decided to sow onion seeds now you can see here these are the onion seeds it looks like that only okay um black color seeds uh, so these seeds are very good if uh, you have these seeds you know uh, i don't know whether you know it or not people usually consume these seeds raw also uh morning morning before the breakfast if you have a pinch of these seeds it is said that your skin or your hairs will be beautiful so it uh, so these seeds are very good uh so now this farmer is going to sow this onion seeds now you can see this is uh, these are the onions you uh, all know onions okay now for uh, spring it is not so easy sowing the seeds is not so easy for that the farmer has to use uh, to walk through the fields okay and then what they will do now walking through the fields and they have with a bullock cart now with that they have this this is known kurij okay and in that you can see this this point okay here they put the seeds and with this the moment the farmer will go for uh, ahead one one seed will be sown like this and it is not so easy if uh, this baswa is a small boy so now what he is saying he is trying to say that i cannot do that if i will do this then i maybe there are chances that i will put more seeds in one area and less seeds in other areas and which is not good so crops will not be properly grown so 
it is very very important to sow the seeds in proper intervals okay this is how you can see in the the for, for how the seeds are to be sown properly so oh, he says that till i grow up i will not do this now what other ways could be used to plow the fields instead of animals so i this also i have told in olden times bullock carts were used now we use tractors for sowing the seeds this also i have already explained you when i was explaining you the chapter now it is now 20 days now after sowing the seeds properly sowing the seeds watering the fields everything was done so uh, uh, tw these onion crops required 20 days okay so after 20 days you can see the sprouts coming out sprouts is small plants this coming out so this is sprouts okay and under the ground onions will grow so the crop will grow uh, under the ground and the plant or the leaves will come out side the soil now which with these soil with these uh, plants you know there are something other th uh, than this other plants also grow which are known as weeds now these weeds are not good for the plants why because if these weeds will grow they are unwanted plants they uh, farmers have not grown them but they grow by themselves so if these plants will grow then what will happen it will take all the water food from the soil which is available and the plants or the onion crop will not get enough water and food so this uh, onion crop crop can be destroyed because of these weeds so as soon as these weeds starts growing these farmers have to remove these weeds from the soil or from the farm and for this it is not very easy for this whole family will be required to do that okay we must remove the seed so that they do not take up all the water and fertilizers if there are too many weeds then the onion plants will not be healthy uh, amma uncle and i we all help appa because one person cannot do that so everyone will do that now growing plants uh, now after that what is the indication that uh, onion uh, crop is ready or onions are ready so here also you can see these the, the leaves turn yellow in color the moment if uh, the farmers see this indication they are sure that uh, onions are ready and this is the time they should uh, pull out the onions from the soil because if uh, if they remain in the soil for more period of time they will start rotten now ro what is rotten means sarna okay they will get all destroyed inside the soil so at the right time onion crops has to be harvested or taken out or removed from the soil now everyone at home uh, will have to work now everyone will have do this work because one person again is it will be very hectic and it will be very uh, tiring and at they have to remove the crop at proper time so if one person is doing more time will be required so if everyone is helping him to remove the plant uh, so, uh, these uh, crops so it will be done on time so everyone is helping even baswa is helping his father to remove the onions from the soil now baswa helps his father in the field do you help the elders in your family in their work what do you help with now your answer i have given you but you have to write your own answer yes i help the elders in my family in their work i help my mom to clean and arrange the house i help my father while purchasing the essentials for our house so these are the works that you might be doing with your parents many a times uh, yes i know you all you all help your parents so every time see this is a family so everyone has to contribute in helping everyone has to share the work so same way if baswa is helping his father you all also do that now the last step now they have removed the crop the last step is 
cutting the leaves from see when you buy onions do you get the leaves also of the onions no you get just the onions right so they remove the cutting they cut the leaves of the onions and then they sell the onions so that is very important part again now the female member of the family does that you must be seeing this instrument now this is known as elige okay in olden times or i don't know in villages nowadays also they use this instrument for uh, scraping out the this you know coconut or cutting of vegetables still now they use it is very sharp and they do it with this only they are very much used to cutting they don't use knives they use this for cutting vegetables or something whatever they want to cut they use this so it is known as elige now these women are doing the same thing they are cutting the leaves of the onion crop so that onions will be uh, different and uh, these leaves they have to separate it and then onions will be filled in this sacks and then transported to different parts now this uh, baswas father take this in a truck okay uh, in to sell in the market okay obviously sometimes these people must be having small tempos small small vehicles in olden times before that also they used to use uh, these bullock carts to take it okay because roads were not uh, uh, so fine nothing was good so they used to take these uh, bullock uh, bullock carts because bullock carts were the only source which can move in those uh, bad roads or bad areas okay now now nowadays they have started taking in trucks or technology has changed so they are using it now in the last page here we finish this chapter now we have seen this onion are taken to the market now for selling obviously now they will get money by selling this onion they have done their share of hard work and now it is the time to take advantage of that hard work now the last one given here are pictures of some implements used by baswas family write the names of the implements also write what these are called in your area what work are they used for now first one is name in this chapter is kurich name in your area kudal in hindi we say kudal work for plowing okay plowing means for uh, loosening the uh, uh, sorry sowing the seeds name in this chapter is kunti name in your area is again kunti for work for digging or loosening the soil the last one name in this chapter is elige and name in your area it can be sickle work for cutting vegetables okay now there is one more thing uh, the last page that is page number 118 now you have to arrange these see i have given the numbers this is first one is losing the soil then second one is sowing the seeds then third one is removing the weeds then the fourth one uh, is this everyone and you have to write also i have not written you have to write okay you have to write what what are they doing i have just given the numbers you have to write it what they are doing now the la uh, last which i wanted to uh, tell you is these are the instruments which are used for different purposes first one is plowing draw uh, over soil to turn it over and cut furrows and planting of seeds okay for plowing it is used now this is trowel or shovel you must be knowing shovel scoop lift plants or or earth. that is digging the soil only for small purposes trowel or shovel is used sickle for cutting okay corn uh, topping or trimming rake used specially for drawing together cut grass or smoothing loose soil or gravel shovel 
used for removing and throwing loose matter or earth pneumatic used for digging and chopping so these are the other instruments which are used in during uh, plantations or during uh, farming this is what i wanted to tell you so these uh, here we end this chapter i hope enough information i have given about farming and i have given one activity also most of them must have not done but it's better you do it so that nowadays you are at home so you can do that please try doing it and it will be you it is fun and an activity also so hope so you do it okay thank you children